Shout out to Jeff Wrights. Jeff Wrights. He just set the Guinness Book of World Record record for most consecutive days going to Disneyland. How many? 2,995. It's a little over eight years. That seems excessive. Well, talk about being goofy. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our resources us on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account, subscribe, and like button. And uh, to, I, I, well, I, 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 I love I, I, Disneyland. I, I don't love it that much. Get a life. I don't even love it two days in a row. <laughs> you, think, you think he's going to be happy about the fact that he spent eight years of his life walking around Disneyland? He's not an employee? No. Not an employee. Yikes. Yeah. Not an employee. Uh, today we got a new trailer that dropped uh, just yesterday. It's Yum. called Zwigato. Zwigato. Starring Kapil Sharma, Shahana Goswami, Nandita Das. Why do I know that name? Das family. Nandita Das. Why do I know that name? I guess it's part of the Das family. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm saying that sincerely. Nandita Das. Why do I know that? Hold on. Sorry. I have to figure it out. <laughs> Director of Monto. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Sorry, I have to figure this out before I can go on. Nandita Das. Earth. Earth. So she was in Earth and Fire, which is... Yeah. Um, Deepa Mehta's kind of... which we I remember I remember that uh, but when I, that came I, I out. Her name's, it looks like she's the director of this one? Yeah. I mean, she directed Manto, which was uh, the great Nawazuddin. Right, Nawazuddin. Film. Yep. Uh, anyway, sorry. Had to figure that out. That's all right. That's... Well, it lets me know what kind of quality of film it's going to be. Zwigato. It's like Zomato with a twist. I don't know. selfie. <laughs> Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Interesting. Hmm. So it must be like a um, Uber Eats Zomato. Do we have that here? No, we don't have it here. They have it in India. Okay. Yeah. Um, about a 
almost a, a daily wage worker, basically. Mm -hmm. And also I'm wondering if it's going to go into, you know, all the drama with the daily wage workers after, you know, COVID, or during COVID, I guess, as well. Yeah, and I think it's going to deal with the, the, the classism. Yeah. Maybe even casteism. Uh, and we're probably going to get really attached to this husband and dad trying to provide for his family and the struggles he goes through. And there'll be a universal connection of what it's like to live that way. And yeah. The unfairness of so much that the lower class have to go through. It looks very interesting. Yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a, a real nice film. Everything looks like it's like high quality. Yeah. After losing his job at a factory floor manager during a pandemic, Darren yeah. Pandemic yeah. becomes a food driver for delivery app. Which a delivery app called Swagato. <laughs> backpack keys, zips. Uh, well, that no, might be too a, much. That's too much. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's a very relatable story. I mean, both of us. At one time in our life, have done. I don't. Have you ever done the food delivery app? Yeah, you can. I have. I did it through Uber, and I also did for a short period of time. I did it through uh, the same one you did. Postmates. Uh, Postmates. Postmates. Yeah. yeah, we've done Postmates. I mean, Amazon Flex. Mm -hmm. uh, this Uber. You did Uber for a long time, uh, specifically. So it's it's a great like those kind of things are great for like if. Like you don't want to have, you want a little extra money. Yeah. Um, or, or I mean, if you want, you can do it full time if you like. Don't have a family. But it's it's rough. Yeah. To 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 do that, at least here in the states, I'm sure it's probably the same in in India. But for example, to justify the wear and tear and the gasoline, you to to do it for full time income here in Los Angeles, it's hard. You have to be putting in fifty to sixty hours a week, and even then you're going to be making just above lower class income maybe depending mm -hmm. on where you live yeah uh and you're uh, you're just going to put you're going to put 150 miles on your car a day mm -hmm. it's and it's it's tough yeah it's it is tough. uh and obviously in india it has a whole different thing and then obviously with all the uh, um how how affected all the daily wage workers were, which I don't know if they would be considered that, but I'd imagine they would be considered that. Yeah, and uh, it, it wouldn't after the pandemic. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he had a different kind of vocation that he lost through he the said pandemic. Factory. It was a factory. He said factory. And then he lost through the pandemic, and then he did a job that would be considered lower than that, but he rightly so considers it a very wonderful thing to be able to feed people. And I don't think that's just the justification. That's very, very true. We too often judge people by their economic strata or the kind of job they have. And there's a lot of very happy people doing jobs that other people would consider beneath them. And those people are feel honored and happy to be doing those jobs. Yeah. I, I'm really interested in what this is going to be. Yeah, me too. Uh, with a, a, a great director. I and mean, she's an actress as well that um, I think we've seen before, but I know... A lot of people really enjoy her acting, um, but I, I did really enjoy Monto. I thought that was a really well directed, well done movie. Uh, film. And this looks like a very more family feel messaging than obviously, and that was like a, a biopic almost. And so those are two completely different feel kind of films. Yeah, this one looks like it could be like more of a happier, like in the end maybe. I don't know. Feel, you know, hopefully, you know? yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be a tearjerker. Yeah, I think, think so? there's going to be there's going to be points where you're really rooting for the family, and things are going to happen that are just that there's going to be injustice yeah. that you're going to get mad at. So I'm, I'm yeah. very intrigued. Wow. Oh look, yeah, look at the runtime. You just saw the runtime. It's barely over ninety minutes, and it felt it felt from the trailer. I think they want you to know that this is going to. I think it was a smart trailer to, to especially to captivate the younger generation to let you know this is a storytelling drama, but it's going to move quickly because yeah. oftentimes you're going to disengage from the younger generation if they don't feel like it's going to be directed, written and instant produced gratification. by Das. Yeah. I, directed, smart trailers. But it says in cinemas. I just, I, I would have hope if it wasn't the world we live in right now, <laughs> but <laughs> this is one of the ones that I feel like people would just be like, oh yeah, that's an OTT film. And so they're not going to go yeah, support which it. Really I saw, kill. I was, we were watching Bill Maher and uh, Christoph Waltz was one of his guests and they were talking about that very thing about, uh, and if you don't know who Christoph Waltz is, please see a lot of his films, including Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained. Yeah. Um, and 
Mar is one of those people, and it's not a surprise that Mar likes to stay at home and watch OTT. He doesn't see much value in the theater experience, whereas Christoph Waltz would, and he articulated the value of so many things. It's a really wonderful segment. I would encourage those of you, please support a film by going to the movie theater. Yeah, Some of it is irreplaceable, most especially the communal aspect that you cannot get, as well as the control factor. When you're at home, there's so many interruptions that can come up. You can turn it off if you want to versus you go to a place, you're sitting with people and you're taking it in in a collective experience. And then you also, you laugh together, you cry together. There's just, I still find theater experience is irreplaceable. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer down below. Josh!